Ladies and gentlemen, this is Africa. Look at this. Not in Switzerland, not in Europe. I'm in Santantau, Cape Verde, Africa. Here we are about to embark the ferry Mar de Canal, Salvicent, to go to Santantau, the island next to us. We see these boats coming in and out every day, bringing passengers from Galapan. Now for once, we're on a ferry. Galapan's over there and below us, there's a cargo of goats. That's gonna be embarked somewhere. Imagine a coffee that only costs actually less than a euro. In a transportation spot. Other places it would be like four euros. Plus they have cool Cape Verdean music here. And what a view of the sunrise. We took the 7 o'clock ferry, and the ride is just under an hour. It was good to see what the ocean was like out there. We're so well protected in Mindelo Bay, you kind of lose feel that we're in the middle of the Atlantic. As usual, Natasha made a friend, a Portuguese gentleman who lives here now. They managed to chat in a mix of French, Spanish and Portuguese. Now I'm a sailor and I have a boat, so why don't I sail here? Well, it's not really recommended to drop anchor. And it's clearly visible by the unfortunate sailor that left his mark here. We grouped up with cool Germans and boarded an Alger, as did several other tourists and locals. But there's always room for more. road is legendary here. It was made by the Portuguese many years ago, carved out of the mountain and all laid out in hard cobblestones. More durable and tougher than black tar. And it offers a rather good massage. The road takes you to a town called Kova. From there, there is a walking trail that goes down a lush green valley called Paul. Well, we've just been let off the Alugar, the bus, and we're going to walk all the way back down from the mountain here. I think we're about 2,000 meters up. And we got a six hour walk, so here we go. We met these cool uh, German sailors on the way across and uh, we're hanging out with them. We're about 1,700 meters high, nearly 6,000 feet. And there is this green oasis. It's the volcano crater. It's just stunning, breathtaking. As are my shorts, which are taking my breath away now. That's what happens when you haven't done laundry for weeks. You wear whatever. This is so strangely similar to my Swiss Alps. The only thing missing are the sounds of cowbells. But the cows are here, black and white, just like back home. The only difference is the dude heading them has rusted dreads. I really think the locals dig my shorts. 
Everyone's all smiles. When you get around the crater's rim, you're confronted with this. This is the Powell Valley, and you're told that it's beautiful and see tourist photographs, but you just cannot imagine what it's like in real life. And there is a trail which goes all the way down to the ocean. People use the trail daily to get back and forth. And look how fit these dudes are. And they got cool shorts like mine. I'm feeling pretty cool and fit myself. Actually, I had no idea how cool I looked. The red shorts are a real compliment to the luscious green backdrop. I'm on top of the friggin' world. And so is this guy. I'm starting to realize I'm not that fit. My knees are already starting to hurt, but I got my Michael Jordan shorts on, so it's all cool. You can't help but wonder how they built this trail. Further down, there's a first little house. And the people here take full enterprising advantage of the strategic position. This family offers homemade goods to us tourists. And who would have believed it that we run into these tourists who are Swiss and from my hometown? Okay. What a sweet family. Great little products they were selling there. I bought myself some punch. It's really sweet and milky and really good and traded them some, some chocolates. So they were so sweet and beautiful, man. But I made a promise to come back with more chocolate. So <clears throat> I may have to come back here. So adorable, the people here. Wow. This is the place to uh, drink grog because this is where the good stuff comes from. And what I just tasted is pretty darn good, man. They grow everything here, even coffee. But the main crop is sugarcane, with which they distill the famous Sententau grog, or rum. Cane flowers are in bloom and it's almost ready to harvest the sugarcane. All of a sudden I hear Natasha calling for me. She's gotten an invitation to hang out in this house with these two brothers who live and farm here. It's the weekend, so they were festive. 
We chewed on sugarcane and Natasha showed them some seeds she had collected. They're reputed to have hallucinogenic properties and they explain what happens if you eat them. Just don't do it, they said. I pulled out my recent rub purchase to share. In turn, they shared sweet potato and yams as well as warm soup. The rum didn't last long. It was good and gave me energy and confidence to keep on going. Amazing. So friendly, the people here. Beautiful. Our legs were starting to ache here, even more so when ladies would hop, skip and jump passing us. Man, are they fit. And damn, am I not. But I got my really cool shorts on, which color coordinate well here. And there's Bob and Cesaria, local heroes. I think they like my shorts too. While I was on a high from the rum, Nat kept her energy levels chewing down on sugarcane. And Nelson Mandela is also a hero here. And the kids, man, they're so cool. Even the dogs are cool. Natasha doesn't know dogs. She thought that dog was paralyzed. He's just scratching his nuts. That's all. You don't know dogs. Nat knows nothing about dog habits. Wow, this place is so amazing. The people are the sweetest, gentlest, most beautiful people. My God. Look at this. Natasha has got African roots, but she's really a city girl. We'd stop and chat to everyone. All you have to say is, bon dia, to dret, and we'd be greeted by big smiles. This man was showing us his fajuara beans, which he was going to plant. They have these amazing irrigation systems for their crops here. God knows what the folks really thought about us, especially me, and I thought it was about time to continue on by Aluguer. After walking down about 15 kilometers, we realized that fit we were not. Certainly not me. It was slowly getting dark and getting a ride on an Aluguer was a welcome relief to my well-clad legs. to the ocean, caught up to our German friends who had found a room here, and with luck there was vacancy for us, and a room with two beds, at about 25 euros for two, breakfast included. Yeah, we'll checked into a little room here, it's gonna cost us about 25 bucks. Okay. Quant de Tomorrow, the Sententau journey continues. I'm just getting tired of saying incredible, astonishing, amazing. You may be also, but what else can one say? Wow, estupendo, increíble, incroyable, fabuleux, génial.